course the AC has to turn on right when I press record, but hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you all are doing well. It has been so long since I've done a Who Owned Each Era video. I'm pretty sure my last group was G Idol, but today we're doing none other than ITZY. I know ITZY is a fairly new group. It's honestly crazy to think they debuted last year. Like what? I feel like ITZY has been in the game for like 10 years. Anyways, but yeah, they don't have that many eras to work with. But what they do have is four deliciously packed eras that are full of amazing content. I cannot wait to... That was a lot. Hold on. Let me breathe. What I was saying was I cannot wait to unpack all of this, dive right in. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. Let's go. Like I was saying, ITZY's debut feels like forever ago when it literally happened last year. What? That is crazy. Time makes zero sense right now. But what does make sense is Yeji owning the hell out of this era. And I mean the hell out of it. She definitely made the biggest impression on me at their debut. She rocked this concept and really took control over this era. She received massive hype around this time for her dominating presence on stage, her dancing abilities, and her overall iconicness. Like, she's just so iconic, right? Yeah. Her opening move in Dala Dala, the power behind her captivating first rapping. But yeah, that was a rap, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Was it? Girl, it was like kind of a mix. I don't know. And then, of course, her addicting floor part where she goes like, my life, my life. You know the rest. I'm like 99% sure none of what I just said makes sense, but... Yeji owns this period. Leah is a runner-up for me though. Her teasers, especially for their debut, were really stunning. She came through with that off-the-shoulder dress moment and those chains and she really caught my eye with her unique visuals and I was also obsessed with her fan cams this era so that deserves to be said. <laughs> I think most people thought since Yeji was so dominating in Dala Dala that we would continue to see that happening throughout Itzy's career, but this definitely did not happen and I have to credit JYP for this. He really knows how to give each member their moment and the member that got their moment in Icy was Miss Yuna, Miss Visual, oh my, Miss Barbie, I mean, come on. It's so funny because Yuna came out of nowhere for me. She was personally the least impressionable member during Dala Dala, but then she took out the bleach and showed up in Icy. She truly fits this refreshing, youthful summer concept perfectly. During their live stages, I found myself always gravitating towards Yuna. I just couldn't keep my eyes off her, even when she was wasn't singing like she could have been in the background and I still would have been looking at her honestly Icy really allowed Yuna to glow in a way we hadn't seen before and she will always be so memorable this era all of and I mean all of her outfits were so cute like from the sparkly blue jersey to even her look in the dance practice real life perfection and not to mention her lines in the b-side cherry blew my mind her sound this era was unmatched yeji is the runner-up for me i think she really shined this era up there with yuna yeji really proved how versatile she was with icy and girl we haven't forgotten I mean, is this like even a debate? Like, Rujin 
Did I just say virgin? Bro, <laughs> why did I say that? It must be past my bedtime or something. I am not thinking straight. Rujit. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, let's try that again. Audrey, you know these things. Rujin took wannabe b- <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. What I'm trying to say here is Rujin fucking destroyed it this era from the shoulder move that went viral. And honestly, don't lie. Everybody attempted that. To her short blue bob, to her intense verses, every one of her lines lands so well and leaves an impression on you. Her fan cam alone has like 10 million views or something. That's crazy. Or maybe that's just from people trying to- perfect that impossible shoulder move i still haven't got it down y'all i really haven't i still do y'all have it it's so hard anyways but for wannabe and rujin it's almost like you can't describe its perfection it's like the stars were just aligned at the very right moment for rujin to destroy it this era i just know she bias wrecked so many people because i am people people is me okay i was trying to think of a runner-up and i found it so difficult because rujin just like killed it but if i had to pick one it would be cheryong i feel like this was the era i really started to notice her and her talent especially all the things she brings to itzy i just think she really suited the concept and yeah she did really well The people that live above me, I think, are showering right now, so that's a nice image in my head. Um, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Anyways, not shy. A lot of people felt really torn this era because unlike the last three eras, there wasn't one specific member that I think took the spotlight directly. Leah and Cheryong, though, both stood out the most to me. Yuna as well. But if I'm 100% real with you guys, Cheryong owns this era, and I'm going to tell you why. Firstly, she looks absolutely good gorgeous performing this like she is truly in her era honestly she's giving us everything she's got and i can't take my eyes off her when they're performing this song and apparently neither can y'all because her fan cam views are up there like those views are in the hundreds of thousands people want to see her they care i do Although she didn't get the lines or center time or dance break she deserves, every single part she has, she kills. And this one outfit, oh my god, moment of silence, are you kidding? It's exquisite. I mean, all of her outfits are amazing. And this one move where she slaps her knees and like shakes or whatever, she owns it with her whole soul. Why are we lying to ourselves? I mean, the whole choreo, she makes it all look so easy with her fluidity, but also her sharpness at the same time. And her line, it's a, is my biggest takeaway from the whole thing, if I'm honest. <laughs> I have to say, though, that Leah also came through this era, and it's obvious because I think, like, I think, honestly, I have the unpopular opinion. I think most people uh, think that Leah owns it, but you know what? I'm kind of known for my unpopular opinions anyway. Um, that was really cringy. I'm probably going to edit that out. But, yeah, Leah sounds great. She really opens up the song with a lot of power. And the way she drops down during the bridge with, like, that ponytail, the answer is no. I have not forgotten, in case you're wondering. Also, Yuna really did shine this era. Honestly, she really, really did, like, a lot. I think that all of her parts she kills, and she owns it as well. That was messy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below who you think owned all the eras. And give me whatever thoughts you're thinking thinking i don't know what's up anyways okay i will see you guys in my next video bye wait why did my bye sound like it was an auto tune bye anyways bye <laughs>